Hello again ladies and gents. Now in this video, hopefully the last video in this series, um, I'm just going to show you very quickly uh, about the classwork page. Now, a couple of things that you really need to know here. Um, this is almost like a, in certain application like Show My Home, we can see exactly when something is due, if there's a due date. When you There's a number of things here that I'd like you to see. Now, Google Cal Calendar you probably won't use often, uh, but this one here, View Your Work and Class Drive Folder, are very important. So I'm going to click on View Your Work. And what that does, it shows me uh, exactly what I've assigned, what I've missed, and what I've handed in. So I can see I've handed in these items here. That's been assigned. I've not actually handed it in yet. And that's missing, it says, because I didn't actually click the hand in button. So you can quickly see what's been sent and what hasn't. You can also see what has uh, any kind of feedback or comments and what has attachments as well. So this is like, like a nice little summary to see where, where you're up to. And if you need to, you can actually go straight to in there. Well, you should be able to and open it up should you wish to do so. Now going back, the other one is this here, class drive folder. What's, what, what this does is basically puts all your work, anything that you've opened and worked on into your Google Drive. So this was done automatically in the background. Every time you open a document, it saves it here. So you don't need to go into your Google Drive and find it, although you could do. So this is just a shortcut. This is the quickest way of finding it. So if you need to find a particular item that you worked on, it could be an ebook, it could be a post, it could be whatever it is, whatever the assignment is, if it's something that was shared to you by a teacher or something you shared to the teacher, if it's on here, if you've, if you've done it via Google Classroom, then it should show up here. And what's great about this is that you can actually just right click and it gives you many different features like um, make a copy, download it onto your computer. So if you're at home, you may want to make a copy of your own or download it there. Uh, you may want to share a link to it. You might want to share it and actually add someone else so that other people can contribute towards it. But well, just be careful with this feature though, because if it's a task that your teacher expects you to work on by yourself individually to show individual thoughts and knowledge and development, then it's obviously not a good idea. But if it's a shared activity, then of course, with your teacher's permission, then I don't see why you can't do that. Uh, you can star things as well, so you can find it, you can rename them. Um, but as I said, it's not something you're going to have to use often. You may want to know where this is, uh, but it's not something that's uh, absolutely necessary. Okay, that brings me to the end of the series. There's really nothing else to talk about here. There are plenty of other features, but those are the basic tools that you will need. Uh, hopefully, you'll find uh, all of these uh, videos useful and helpful. If you do get stuck, the best piece of advice I could give you is to go and speak to a teacher. And um, if you need to, email them. Hopefully, uh, they will be able to respond to you. Now, just be patient. If teachers can't respond, uh, it, they'll have a good reason for it. So just uh, be understanding and do the best you can. Just don't be afraid to give this a go. Good luck.